I do, I do. Hold, hold on, let me explain something else, all right? Let's go. Oh, hold just, that thought one second. I just want to say one second. Okay, go ahead. We have this artwork that appears today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we come out to your house. Yeah. And on top of everything else, you're a pretty talented, skilled artist. Yeah. All sorts of your right. artists. Right. Right. That isn't something that somebody just whipped up. Like, sitting there says, oh, let me throw this. Do you know that there's 90,000 artists in New York City alone? But let me finish, all right? We don't see Here's what we're worried about, okay? Yeah. Nothing was damaged. Okay. Nothing was broke. Right. All right? Yeah. But it did upset a few people who got worried. When they saw the picture, um, all right, are you familiar with that there was a letter attached to the picture? No, I wasn't familiar. They didn't okay. tell me that the letter. Right. Let me explain something. Wait a second, wait a second. Was the letter handwritten or typed? Tell me. Come on now. You know, come on, I'm, I ain't giving you the whole come, bowl of wax. Come on, I, tell on. You, I already told you that listen, I have nothing to listen, do with listen, this. Listen, listen, listen. We're not going to give you everything. The bottom line is, all right, yeah, yeah, you yeah, understand yeah. in this day and age with some serious security concerns, with terrorism and everything else. Yeah, right. And I really well, fit that bill, don't I? No, I don't think you're a terrorist at all. But. Ooh, ooh, I'm going to pop the head. Oh, but listen, oh, listen. We understand what you're doing. The whole thing is, it's just all of a sudden disappears there. People got a little bit worried. We read the letter, yeah. and the letter was basically somebody's, you know, trying to make a statement. By the way, I'd like to know where the other detective is. Right here, yeah, admiring your work. Oh, okay. But well, the whole thing is, we just like to know yeah. if, in fact, like, who did it, what yeah. was done. I'd like to know, too, I, although, I'd like to know who's making that really bad art and has the nerve to put it in a museum. Well, that's part of why. Well, it was an attention getter, and you know what? It got everybody's attention. Right? Didn't get my attention. You, you well, demanded got my attention. attention. Because had I seen it, I would have said, "Oh, that's you know typical crap that you see in the modern art division." You know, that not, not right. something well, that you know I would do. Did you about. when you were at the museum? Did you see anybody place it on the wall? No. If I had, I would say, "Oh, I know the guy who did it. He was Joe McGillicuddy, and he looked like this." If they had asked see, me, see the criminality. The criminality here is like. Minute. What is, not what we it's, le it's less than. It's so like, then, why are there five detectives here? Because we're working on this together. We five? Do you know, there's you know, people, you know how many people did at the museum this afternoon? About 30. 30 what? Cops. Cops? 30 yeah. cops? Yeah. For this? Yes. Hey. Fire department. Fire, Fire department. department? Oh, yeah, big time. Oh, so there was a, a threatening letter then? No, no the letter was not threatening at all. It's not a threatening letter. Then why would that be so because much? Arthur, Arthur. In that, in, in our day, in what we deal with, Arthur. everything gets ratcheted up. That's yeah, remember, ridiculous. All of a sudden, they find a letter there, yeah. and it's like, now it's like, all we're looking for his answers. Let me just step outside. What was that? We're looking for his answers. Now we see this letter, and it's like, what the hell is this whole thing about? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the letter? I am now involved in some way. I have a, I'm, you know, I have a right to know as, as a, as a, an interested well, party. But well, we're. <laughs> oh, the, the letters are important. The letter well, isn't you, even. You keep mentioning this letter. Well, let me explain something. Yeah. It was designed as a device to get our attention. All right, which uh -huh. it did. Yeah. And like I said, there was no damage to the museum. It did scare a few people. All right. But, but well, it, was there something scary in the letter? No, there's nothing threatening in there. All right. Sounds like somebody trying to make a statement. Yeah. And in our job of the work that we do, all right, anytime something like this happens a day, day, by the way, nervous. by the way, you can check out my website. You yeah. Have one? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? And, uh, ArthurRobbins.com. And you will see that there's not a single solitary political, overtly political statement, either way, pro left, pro right, on any level, on any issue. The only thing, written statement on my website is how I found God. There is not one thing about, I'm just curious, about I'm President thinking. Bush. Oh, I'll tell you that. I'm just saying. I just want to reiterate. You also let's just look at the stuff that's around you. Do you see any overt political not at all. statement? No, nothing. Do you, do you see anything that has a, that would be, be as crass as to stick money as a part of an image? In fact, do you see anything that has another another image? already made in my art. You see, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I understand that. You don't have to be an expert in art. You can just see that all of my work is completely original and has no relationship to any other existing well, you like image. Pool, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I like painting pools because I'm better at painting. Well, all right, is, that, is that you also, painting pools? The pool paintings? Yeah, that's another website. Poolpaintings.com. No political message in it on it. No overtly political statement and no usage of another pre-existing image. 
going to, again towards like a pure original expression, personal expression, not political. My work is political in the sense that just that any original art is political already. So for me to be redundant, to be overly political would be redundant. Do you follow that? That's long process. Yeah. No, when were you in California? When? Ha, well, you know how I was in Come on, you were talking about Timothy Leary, man. What was that? Back to Timothy Leary. What about, what, what does that have to do with me? No, I can see you were out there probably in the 60s. Right? No, so I was there two years ago. You think we were out there in the, uh, the 60s and no, the 70s? No, no, no. By the way, is, would it be too much for me to, to, can I photograph your IDs? No, that I'm not doing. You now, find out. Able, could, I, could I video your IDs? No, no, no. absolutely not. Next Why? thing I know, you'd be painted on They're putting yeah, out here. Yeah, you're not famous. <laughs> well, can, I, can, I, what, what, can I write down your names? Sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no can I do that now? Sure. Auntie, yeah. there's no problem here. Oh, no, no <laughs> problem. Come on, Auntie, you weren't doing anything. You got some company. I was mixing paints. Oh, no, I'm, I, I have no, I have, I'm completely innocent, so you know, well, I don't have any fear. It's right. just so bizarre. Imagine you walked, went to a, a museum, of, a metropolitan museum, you hadn't been there for, oh, years, right? And then, and then you, you've been there before, when, years, not for years. years. Not for years. Well, just, well yeah, but you know what I'm saying? What's, what's your name? Sergeant Campbell. Sergeant Campbell. C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. B E L L and what what precinct twenty five? Uh, special investigations S I D. S I D. Okay. And, and what's your name, sir? Detective Maluso. Detective Maluso. M A L U L L U S O. U S O. And what were you from? Nineteenth. Nineteenth precinct. Where's that from? Right well, by the museum. Museum. Yeah, by the museum. Oh, you fell all the way from there. Your your name, sir? Police officer Christopher Spalding. Christopher? Christopher. That's in Christ. Christopher? Sapoli. Sapoli? P P O L I L L I? Oh, sorry. And your name? Penuccio. P A N. A detective? Sergeant, sorry, I'm sorry. Sergeant? P A N. U C C. U C C. I O. I'm from the 19th detective squad also. 19th. Okay. The sergeant? Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think the sergeant. What's your detective? Say it again, for us last name. Okay. Okay. Two C's? Sure. What are you looking at me for like that? Come on. Yeah. Okay. And where are you from? SID. Okay. Thank you. So, what's next? All right, so you didn't see anything when you were there? Of course not. I already said I didn't see anything. It's a lot of art. I'll tell you what, can I look in your studio downstairs? Sure. Can you show it to us? Okay. Can I take my camera? Sure. Knock yourself out. You know, remember the switch? Okay, from Brooklyn? Same thing. Same exact thing. Same exact thing what? No, he just he was an artist. We had we had a dealing with an artist out in Brooklyn and he had similar but not as good. Hey Rocky, he, he wasn't very do you good. You sell this stuff at shows or do you go to galleries? My heads I don't sell. I consider them a little too precious to sell at this point in time and I can't get I can't, if I wasn't selling I can't get a sufficient amount of money for them at this point in time. How long does it take you to make one of them? Well these are made out of solid oil paints, so they take many, many, many months. Out of, really? Yeah, many thousands of pieces of oil paint. Of oil paint, wow. Thousands. I understand why you don't want to sell it. Yeah, but not, to, not, not just that reason. Is they're, it solid? They're, they're, well, there's an armature underneath, but, but they're solid. Okay. They're solid in the sense that, you know, this is solid oil paint. You know, right, so right, it takes right. a long time to dry it. Oh, yeah, maybe 50 years. Into, under